Debris is everywhere, and businesses are still recovering from looting Monday morning. Thousands of people came into downtown in carloads, breaking windows, clashing with police, and causing widespread damage. While a lot of high-end retailers and department stores were hit, not many expected the Ronald McDonald House, a charity for families with children in the hospital, to have their doors smashed. They were very concerned because there was a lot of activity right in front of the house. Uh, and people, you know, making choices that could put them uh, at risk and put our families at risk. So the staff was frightened. Over 30 families and their sick children were inside, along with staff helplessly watching everything unfold outside. They're already in a really, really difficult spot and, and having this kind of um, stress, additional stress, and worry about being able to get to and from the hospital, even though we're five blocks away because of safety concerns is it's just doubling the strain. More than 400 officers were deployed after police learned of a social media post encouraging people to loop business downtown and on the north side. Second Ward Alderman Brian Hopkins believes the city should have been better prepared. It's a recipe for ineffective law enforcement and that's what we saw uh, with this wide-scale looting where the police officers were largely in a passive posture, letting it happen because they didn't know how to stop it. And in many cases, if they did try to intervene, it was a threat to their own life and safety. In the end, two people were shot, 13 police officers injured, and more than 100 arrests were made. Here at the Ronald McDonald House, thankfully no one was injured. The charity does want to remind the community of Chicago through this pandemic and, of course, through the looting, they are still helping families in need, and they do that through donations, of course. And you can find more information about the Ronald McDonald House on our website at abc7chicago.com.